what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're at the shop, so last day we'll be here until further notice because of COVID virus, coronavirus, and what we're doing is picking up the GTR. We finished up the Adam C63 over there, which we did a full paint crush and ceramic coating, because I saw from the last video, Adam's right here. We did a wash on it, and then we this week we just finished up the ceramic coating. And we're gonna do his GTR as well. So we're gonna bring the GTR back home so you can drive it and enjoy it while until it's all protected. But guys, stay safe out there. This coronavirus is not a joke. Clearly, we have to shut the shop down. I have bills to pay, I have expenses, and we can't do anything. There's no more business coming in because of this coronavirus. And we live in San Diego, so the weather weather is not really an issue, but it is raining this week. So that, on top of the coronavirus, is making things a lot, lot worse. So what we're doing is just gonna close down. I'll talk more about what we're gonna be doing to stay, make it through this month. But for now, I wanna empty it out, get everyone's cars delivered. Close it up, call it a day. And guys, we are located in San Diego, as I mentioned with the weather, and we are on current California state lockdown. So basically, we're not allowed to be leaving our houses. We're not supposed to until this COVID virus disappears. And I don't know if where you guys are from, leave a comment down below, are you guys in lockdown or not? But we're trying to stay healthy. We have family, we're always surrounded by friends and family. We do not want to bring that virus home. If I do get sick or anything like that, I would not want to give it to my parents or anyone older than me, because you guys all know it's dangerous to them. As for us, the younger generation, won't affect us as bad. So God forbid does, anything does happen, we're gonna close down the shop until further notice, we'll make it through the days, and our plans to come back after this virus will be very good, so stay tuned for that. So, what car are you driving? The C63 GTR. It's up to you, man. What do the viewers wanna see? Should I take the GTR? Or should I record you driving the GTR? A little bit of both. What? I can put the seat out the window. I was in the GTR. All right, so we did a little montage video of us driving home. We're gonna be driving safely. Ah. Safe, speed limit. All right, let's get in this baby. A little cold start for you guys. Guys, so driving the GTR, it's come to the conclusion that a lot of people want to mess with you when driving these nice cars. Like, don't get me wrong, they're very fun to drive, 
but it gets annoying when other people come up next to you. And this guy behind me has been tailgating me since we got off this exit. Like a lot of these things happen when you're driving these nice cars, and I understand for like the people that drive supercars, I get offended when, not offended, but they get annoyed when everyone's always up on their ass and like, you know, just trying to drive with them. Sorry, this thing is loud as hell. So if you guys can't hear me, I apologize, but like I said, it's, it's like a whole different world driving these things. Everyone wants to say hi to you. Everyone wants to wave at you. Adam and I just gave gas, we just got on it. The guy behind us is right behind us, like he's trying to keep up. And like, it's funny, don't get me wrong. Like, don't get me wrong, it's fun to drive with a group, but when you're just trying to cruise and like not get in the way of everyone, shit like that happens. Like, I was trying to make an exit, and the guy next to me wouldn't let me go, so I had to give gas and get past him. A little long story short, he was trying to block me off, not block me off, he was trying to say nice car, basically. But literally, you know, I was trying to get over. So yeah, back to driving. So remember that car that was behind us? He just pulled up next to me like, nice car, bro. Like, things like that. Like, I love it, the respect for it, they respect your cars, and understandable. Hold on one sec. Alright, so enough fun in the GTR, in the neighborhoods. The neighbors already don't like us because of how loud these cars are, so they already complained. But we're just gonna go slow, keep them quiet. Maybe not. They're not so quiet. No! Alright, time to go eat some dinner. What are we eating? Spaghetti! Spaghetti. We're going over there, right? Drive? That's a big hill. It's a big ass hill. Like, they're big. Alright. Um, do you want to drive or do you want me to drive? I can drive. Let's go. Just leave the car in the garage. Alright, so last time my camera died, so I wasn't able to record what else we did that night. But it's the morning after, we got Loki with us. And we're going to do some training. So we got his training collar on. Loki, hold on. Good boy. Here's what we're going to train him with we got some raw meats that I freeze as treats. Something like fat and just a little bit of meat on there. Very tasty for this guy. And what I like to work with on Loki is right now just basic heels, stay, sit. Loki, heel. So like right now he'll walk by my side. If I stop, he won't walk past me and he should sit. Good boy. That's the basic heel. Lay down. Lay down. You got him in a lay down position. Stay. You have a piece of meat. I want to make him heel. Loki, heel. He should sit by my side. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm gonna do that for about like 15, 20 minutes. Loki, heel. Work him in. I'm gonna take him on a nice little walk. Get him all tired out for the rest of the day so he's not barking at us or anything like that. So I got the meat. Here's what I like to do also. Hold the meat in my hand. Just walk with him. Walk in a circle. Heel. Good heel. Let him try to get that piece of meat. Good heel. Good heel. So you do that for a couple steps. And Pull it up, make him sit, good boy. Just keep doing that repetitively until you can do that without having any food in you, in your hand. So once he's done, Loki, okay, heal. And just keep doing that. Right now there's no food, but he's gonna be looking. If I stop, sit, heal. Stop, sit, good boy. And after a little basic obedience, like 15, 20 minutes, I could take him to this trail. I like to take Loki up to this trail over here behind my house, just a little mountain region that I walk up and to unhook him from the leash, let him go wander around, let him be a dog, let him chase bunnies, rabbits, whatever. So we walk up this, come on, let's go. Good boy, come on, let's go. I just follow him, let him do his thing. It's not even a trail really, we just make our own path. He either follows or I follow. Good boy. And we just go up the mountains until we make it to the top. 
we make it to the white pole, keep going upward until we hit like a dead end. And I stop, take a break, let him relax. Good boy. Come on, go. I'll follow you. See, the thing with him is he likes to pee on everything. Like he's sniffing where he can pee right now. Look at him. Uh oh, his hair stood up. Loki! So right there, he got a little bit out of hand, so I'm gonna turn around and go the opposite way, see if he follows me. Make sure our recall stays intact. Make sure he doesn't leave my side, make sure he's always by my side. When we don't want him to wander off on his own into the mountains, me without a leash, obviously. Say, good boy. Come here, good boy. Good boy. So he followed me. He did run up the mountain pretty far, and I turned around. The minute I saw him start booking it up that way, I turned around, and he turned around to see I was in there, and he started freaking out. And guys, obviously I'm not a dog trainer myself. I learned this real deal dog training where I take Loki every Saturday now. I've been three sessions in, and you should see the improvement from Loki. I'll put the link down below to the Instagram that they do, but the owner Dave over there is amazing. I think I'm gonna make a vlog next time I go over there, show you guys what we do with Loki, bite work, obedience, whatever we do, I'll put it in the video so you guys can see what we do, but it's awesome. It's a whole different world over there. But yeah, so here's a spot, and I'm gonna meet up at this tree right here. Look over the mountains, some houses over here. Like my house is way over there. Like you can see my house from here, but I'm way up in the mountain. But it's really nice. I wanna start making my way over that way, but it does say no trespassing. But enough talking about dogs and training and hiking with Loki. So back to the story about this COVID virus and why I'm closing down. So like I said, no risk. I don't wanna bring the virus home to my family and friends. I don't wanna get anyone sick. Guys, remember this virus does not show early symptoms. Like you have to wait to know if you get sick. And it's really weird. Like I don't know much about the virus, but when I, all I know is it's deadly. You don't wanna risk it. So I'm gonna close the shop down until further notice. And until this whole situation blows over, I'm just gonna wait it out, of course. And when it does come back, I'm gonna throw out a big sale out there again, bring the business back, make ourselves busy again. He's already following me. I'd have to say, oh, I almost fell. But we're gonna try to make ourselves busy again, throw out a sale of first ceramic coatings or paint corrections if you're in the San Diego area, stay tuned for that. Follow my Instagram at Genesis Detailing to see more of what we do behind the scenes. But we're gonna head back home, enough of this trail. Guys, if you don't already follow my Instagram, go to Instagram, follow Genesis Detailing. But stay tuned for what we're doing when we come back from this virus. We're going to be coming back pretty heavy with some sales and some coatings going out your way. So stay tuned. Like I said, follow the Instagram at Genesis Detailing. Put him back on the leash since there's people outside with dogs. And that's what the training's for. I mean, I don't completely trust him off leash. He's doing well. That's why I unclip him once I get further up the mountain. But for now, we're just going to leave him right here on a leash. Let him do his thing. I'll follow him. I don't have to put him in the heel or anything like that. But I think that's gonna wrap up this video for today. Got Loki back home. We'll go back get some water for him. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys did like this video, give me a nice thumbs up. Press subscribe. Stick around for more videos. We're gonna be doing more vlog styles, like lifestyle videos, as well as detail videos. So don't be disappointed. It's gonna be some how to still, product reviews. But for now, let's wrap it up. See you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe out there, guys.